but they haven't stopped posting, so they will always have a community of people that follow them. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But I don't think we should like be blaming Jenna Marbles. At the end of the day, like years ago, it's just not the same group of people that are constantly harassing you. And for someone to decide, oh, it's kind of not fucking worth it now, I understand it. Yeah, I get it. Having to constantly apologize for that, it's just it just kind of seems like a useless battle. Like, it, it, it can get frustrating very easily. Yeah, if every time you post something yeah, anywhere, people... people say, but what about in 1994 when you said this about this group? It's like, dude, uh... like, fuck off. <laughs> that becomes... if They they are corroding... I think they are corroding like, like, the, the enjoyment. The... They, yeah. they are corroding like just good things, I think. I think so, too. At the end of the day, like, yeah, it's her choice, but it's a choice based off of... Yeah. Sometimes like a certain circumstance or environment. That's what happens with, that's what with people that make jokes that are kind of far out sometimes, is that they can dish it, they can take it sometimes, right? Like, they know what kind of zone that they're, that they're making jokes on. They know what kind of tidbit they're in, and they know what kind of come, come with that. And if it does, then they're okay with it. Um, it's more so, like, sometimes people are doing it with good intentions, they know what they're doing, and then they get shit on later on. That's kind of unfair. I think General Bubbles is kind of in that group. Which Agreed, is trying to make but content. that's why I think, like... <laughs> It's the most fun to be on the internet if you're like a little bit villain arc. Yeah, yeah, I, I mean you 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 end up getting for sh you end up getting shit on for because sure. Because then you're like, ah, you say and do whatever and so you don't really care what you get back. But when you try to be a people pleaser and then you get shit on, like it hurt a little bit more. Yeah. No, it does. You're right. Um Check. I mean sorry, go on. Think of um Ryan, Ryan Heiger, mm -hmm. Ryan Heger. Um, some of the, some of their skits, you know, these days, they wouldn't they wouldn't fly, right? Was he canceled for I it? I haven't seen it in forever, but oh wow. Um, how to be gangster? How to be Asian? I think, and then like, or how to be whatever, right? Am I am I, am I, am I misremembering this or not, chat? Actually. I do remember those titles, but I don't know if they're offensive in this day and age. Well, then you know. it's I mean, it's full it's filled with stereotypes and whatnot. I'm pretty sure. True. But are they canceled? But, like, Should be canceled? No, because at the time, something that flew a lot, and it's like, okay. Um, now if you did that again, I mean, it's a it's a little different. But mm -hmm. if they improved at and or they adapted themselves at yeah. the same pace as society yeah then should you retroactively get mad at them for something that doesn't apply anymore i i pretty don't think so i think that makes just no sense i completely agree but then we do that anyways and we allow that to be done and if anything we kind of like we ravel in it we love to see people be taken down even if it's about shit that like doesn't yeah. make sense in this day and age and that they no longer do. Oh, no, of course. So the people can say whatever they say if they can get mad. Mm -hmm. I think it's up to the infrastructure and the companies to take strong stances and say, you're mad about this? There's nothing to be mad about. Um, we are not doing any action oh, to this like person. Oh, like the platforms? Yeah. I do think Platforms, companies, sponsors, kind of partners. Thing. Sponsors and partners, no. But... Sponsors? Platforms, yeah. Okay. Sponsors and sponsors and companies will come and go so fucking quick. Even if, like, even if someone maybe doesn't deserve to get canceled, like, they will not touch them with a ten-foot pole. They should know better. Moment. In my opinion, the more the more that they crumb, it's like uh, the foundation. Mm -hmm. The more people crumble because of outrage that is not justified. The more other companies will say, oh, look, they cut their losses on us. Let's so also do it. And, and, I then it agree and then it starts with you. from the bottom. The castle crumbles. I agree with you. But like, there's no, you know, we're not all going to have a meeting together and be like, this is OK. This is not. Yeah, I just wish I just wish that sometimes people were stronger. Like, oh. I hope so, too. I have a friend who had a really, really cool partnership. And she had like, I guess you can say like a scandal in the past. But the thing is, it wasn't even her. It was like her friend, okay? But anyways, because her friend had this issue, she lost like one of the biggest spon sponsors that she could have gotten because one guy, one guy was emailing that company like, don't work with this person because of this incident. 
Yeah, no, for sure. No, I, I, yeah, I, I, this happens all the time. And I feel like that's such pussy shit. Yeah, uh, Zams. Sorry. Zams was uh, at one point uh, almost not able to participate in a LAN Apex event because he was friends on an org with me. And I had done stuff like five years prior. Really? Yeah, so because I did something like, I think it was three or four years prior, and I'm friends or in a, an org with Zams, he couldn't just show up or participate in an in a Apex tournament. That's insane. Yeah, Actually and insane. They, they told me about it, and I was like, dude, what the fuck is this about? So this happens all the time. And it's why I'm, so I'm telling you, it's why I'm, so I'm saying like, I wish companies were like more, hey man, they, you guys are worried about this as, as people, and this is not a worry. And does, it does not worry us for the, the future of this person. Of people, yeah. It's not an active problem. Yeah. Therefore, there's no problem. Mm -hmm. And they just said, no, you're wrong. I wish sometimes companies said, no, you're wrong. End of story. And yet, because they think that, the thing is that companies, they, they think they lose. They don't. Okay. Let's be honest though. People that run on Twitter, people that complain uh, uh, with little comments. With, we're they not the people that we're going to Yeah, they don't buy the products. Anyways. They don't follow the product. They but don't care about it. if you did sponsor that person, they would still see it. They would still see it. They're not going to avoid your company because of it. If anything, it's like more exposure. The hate drives clicks and likes and everything because they are so obsessed with following people. True. So, like, hey, technically it's better numbers. Yep. You're not losing shit. Facts. Facts on no God. Winner. For real, for real. Agreed. No kismo. <laughs> no kismo. I like that one. <laughs> yeah, so I'm I don't know about this. It's why I think, uh, you know, like a um, good example. I mean, I don't want to make too much uh, drama on stream, but you know, like Call Me Carson, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. He was like, oh man, like he got canceled over. I mean, he didn't get canceled. He canceled himself. You literally just stopped posting. Yeah. Stop posting, you're not canceled. Well, ta I would say that's being canceled. Like when it's so bad that you like dip for a year or two. Okay, it being bad. Technically, like, I think is about a perspective. Cancelled has become such an overused and shitty term that it no longer has a definition. You're not wrong. <laughs> like, um, what the fuck does it even mean? Yeah, you're right. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. With how much shit you will get, I think, if you put a good amount of creators in my position, when they start, if you make them go live now and they play a video game, mm -hmm. right? They would probably say that, yeah, they'd stop streaming and they'd say, yeah, I got cancelled. Because the chat is shitting on them. Like... Well, if I play a game, okay, all I get in chat is so bad, so bad, <laughs> so dog shit, garbage, and quit the game. I, I get nothing shit. but that in the chat, right? Because that's what that's just what they say, you know? So in, in my perspective, it's like normalized, like it's just like a funny joke, but for somebody else, it'd be like chi mm -hmm. So it I think it, it kinda it kinda depends. When you post shit or see stuff about yourself, do you ever see like random hate threads or hate comments or like clusters of people disliking you or saying like, you're that Sometimes. guy that used to say slurs and listen Oh no, or... that's funny. I think that's so funny. Really? Or like, do you ever see that? I kind of can't tell because I feel like you have such a big dedicated community. I don't often see XQC haters, well, but maybe I'm just like blind to them. I don't know. Okay, well, I think... When place. I make a mistake, mistake, <laughs> and I, I I correct it and move on, I know what I stand for, and I'm not afraid of going live and just talking for hours, right? Because mm -hmm. I know that I'm not like, I don't have terrible ideas, and another one's gonna slip to the cracks. Oh my god, I'm yeah. gonna say this on the stream, right? So mm -hmm. I I'm not, I'm not, I don't have to cover my tracks. I don't have to. Whenever, whenever people come up and it's like, oh, dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up this what he said last time, and I'm gonna got him. I think it's so funny. <laughs> got Cause, him. Because it's just like just like he started when he pulled out the other thing, the article. I'm like, dude. We know this. We oh see this. Oh my god, this. wait. Can I just say, when you replied to Keemstar, yeah. you fucking buried him. Like, me and my friends were talking about it like it was a national holiday. Guys, today, the gnome's career <laughs> has ended yeah. due to this. And then the magnitude of the ratio, I cannot even mathematically calculate. It was just out of this freaking world. Yeah, you get kind of smoked. And then, Truly. you know what's crazy though? And then they kept they kept bringing more and more. I don't know if you, I don't know if you just remember. No. He kept doing more tweets about me or whatever. Really? But then I didn't reply to any of them. Because the reality is, <laughs> is that the main point is dispelled, right? So whatever he comes with it ne with next, I don't, it's a, it's the same mentality. People know about this. You're not, you're not going to get me. And he just looks like this, this like, you know, you know when uh, you, you watch a cartoon, right? And then there's like the big guy who's like holding the other guy like this, and he's the guy's like that, and he can't mm -hmm. reach. That's kind of it's kind of like that, right? Halt, Wait, no. Yeah. <laughs> so he got halted once, right? Now if you try again, you're not gonna reach me. It doesn't matter. That's kind of it's kind of how it is. 
So that's kind of how I saw it. So I'm, I'm like, I'm not going to keep replying. And people say, you, you give them clout when you answer. No, you don't get it. You don't get it. Like Maybe if you answered every single fucking yeah, thing, it would be if a you, bit much. If you answer every time, yeah, you're, you're giving clout and everything, you're just being weird. But if, if you smoke them once, you're chilling. Agreed. So, so I don't know, but the, the, it's why, it's why the, the gnome, it was like a non-issue for me. <laughs> Dude, okay. Maybe this is a little spicy to say, because in, in general, I used to try pretty hard to avoid talking about the gnome because he's just very intense like you say he's not only intense though he, he holds he, he a grudge against he, you and he's like and just starts spewing lies and doing whatever but i think at this point you know i'm trying to take small steps to give less of a shit yeah, well, yeah so well, this is gonna be my first step in saying i am so fucking glad that for someone who tried to cancel me so many fucking times over the last like Four years I am happy that I lasted long enough to watch him kind of disappear into irrelevancy yeah and now now all he does is just like a misogynist factory I'm not I'm not gonna say truly it. That, that is what I think though factory you know bro. when you think of a little factory right and it's like a, a chain belt at the back and at the <laughs> it takes a normal user and then it makes a misogynist at the end That's yes so what he does every day and it's like it's just so obvious oh my god he, he just he's tries radicalizing so the poor little Twitter users. <laughs> yeah, that, it is what it is, though. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, I think you don't have to tweet about it every time, but it's just just showing it once in a while. You know, when, when, when he's pointing fingers, just a good reminder. Just an L nerd. Unironically L nerd. Yep, and now, uh, now we're going to be on the next, on the next show. <laughs> he's already prepping his tweets and clips. <laughs> Ironically, more cloud for me. Easy. <laughs> True. Um, oh yeah, okay, something I kind of want to talk about, family stuff. Like, I feel like you don't really talk about family. Like, I can't believe you have a brother. Yeah, I have a brother, a mother, um, and a dad. A father? <laughs> yeah, so what I did with my dad is I bought, um, since he's kind of older. Oh, like old, old, or like, like 60s or like 90s? My 60s. <laughs> um, I bought him a, uh, a camper van. Oh, like, like a an Mercedes RV? camper, right? A Mercedes. I'm gonna look it up. It's like, it's like a, it's like the the team vans, you know, you no know, like LCS teams. They have a team van where they have a little place and they bring them to the spot. We can modify them and put like a like a whole housing in it. Like an RV, but a that's fancy what he, that's RV. What, that's what he has right there, pretty much almost. I think something like that, yeah. Whatever you guys can maybe generally tell what that is. Yeah, it's a sprinter van, yeah, pretty sprinter much. Sprinter yeah. van, okay. And it has like uh, two beds, a kitchen, mm -hmm. uh, a shower, mm -hmm. and he just like uh, so I bought him that, cool. and then he just um, he just left fucking he just left Quebec, and now he's just he's just on the run, just. That's kind of fucking sick, to be honest. But do you guys talk? Like, does he text? Oh uh, yeah, I talk sometimes. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, he came to visit um not long ago. I had talking for a little bit. But I was really busy, so I, I couldn't talk to him that much. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I, he, he's with his girlfriend. And he just goes around doing whatever. Cute. What about and your then what mom? I do with my mom is that if I buy something to my ma my dad, I give the same amount to my mom. So I give a check to my mom, and then. Um, <laughs> That's very diplomatic of you. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, then she just she just cashed it in, and she just she's she says I, I'm I'm saving. Aww. I'm like, dude. I, and I'm like, dude. She's saving and then she's gonna like give it back to you someday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, mom, you're like 60, stop saving. Yeah. I'm Enjoy like, your fucking life, I'm bro. like, and then I bought something else for my dad because he mm -hmm. needed it, like uh, I think a house. Mm -hmm. And then. <laughs> Just bought my dad a house. I, I gave a check to my mom and I'm like, okay, you're spending all of it or I'm taking it back. Right. Aww. And now she's, now she's starting to like buy stuff. That's really nice. Yeah, that's kind of how it is. Do you have a good relationship with them? Yeah. Sounds yeah, they're nice, yeah. That's really nice. Do you talk to your brother much? Uh, yeah, yeah, my brother helps me, yeah. Cool. He, um... I want to meet Nick. My brother is the ambassador of my gambling addiction. He has all my, uh, all my crypto and my, um, and my money. So whenever I, I, I want to, to gamble, I have to ask him to, him to give me, and he regulates me. So it's kind of a system for me not to lose all my money. That is some dank copium right there, dude. So Not I, to lose all my money, Pepe laugh. So he stops me. Sure. Well, not the time, but is what it is. Um, so that's kind of that's kind of how the system we have rolling right now. 
Well, you know, we could talk about Gamba if you want to be spicy. Um, I saw some clip where Miss said he got like a 10 mil gambling sponsor and you were like mad at him or something. I don't know. I didn't understand. No, I am talking with an off stream. It's not too spicy. It's just because... um. um keep burping um basically sorry it's the cupcakes the, the reality of it is is that i don't want I, I don't want to be weird about it and like make too much drama out of it it's just that it seemed to me like at the time um yeah we we did gamba shit but mm -hmm. we were like thrown under the bus if that makes sense like whenever she hit the fan and we were like against it mm -hmm. then they piled on everybody mm -hmm. piled on mm -hmm. you don't have to be for it you don't have to be uh um uh, Neutral. You don't have to do anything, but I think piling on is something you do like by uh, by choice. Mm -hmm. And you know, me and Train like we are kind of like we're not vindictive, but we t we take notes, right? People are gonna be a bunch of hoes. We take notes. We're not gonna go against them. Uh, I like think crazy. the word you mean is petty. Yeah, we're not. Okay, we're not no, petty. Y'all are a little petty. Okay. You're Sometimes not vindictive and vengeful, but you're a little petty. We're not going to take action. But I think all streamers are a little petty, low-key. But I take notes, though. All you do is take notes. Noted. Noted. Mm-hmm. So, I'm going to say, oh, because generally, mm -hmm. if you're kind of wrong, then you're wrong. Mm -hmm. But if they're, they're piling on, it's kind of like, okay, I'll just I'll note that, right? Mm -hmm. And then maybe next time when they're in trouble, I'll pile on it, right? But then, it felt to me like, we got piled on and then a 180 on. That was my concern. So I, 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 it's why I talked to them off stream. And I was like, see, at the time, you piled on me and you piled on us. But now sides. you're 180 ing. Mm -hmm. So it's like, when you're piling on, you act as if you know better, mm -hmm. in my opinion. But then it comes up later that you don't. And that's the only thing that I didn't agree with. Well, I mean, didn't Miz do a gambling sponsorship before? So I don't think he ever acted like he knew better. I think. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't remember. And, 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 anyway, um, I ended up being kind of wrong about it because I, I, cause I talked to him about it and I was like, um, yeah, like I, I, just, I, I was just small, like, because we got piled on last time, whatever. Mm -hmm. So we cleared it up. It was fine. Okay. But at the end of the day, we, we kind of hashed it out like it was like no problem. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of felt bad. I kind of kind of hard snapped because one, he didn't take it or whatever. And mm -hmm. it doesn't matter anyway. It's. it's oh, I, yeah. I think you reacted that way because you thought he did take the. Yeah, sponsor. I did take it. And you thought that that would be hypocritical. Which would have been it. fine also. I would have been, I'm going to be honest with you, I would have been out of my depth anyway if, if, I, if I got mad about it. I would have been out of my depth regardless. I mean, I don't know. If I was you and someone dogpiled on me for doing something and then six months later they did the same shit, I would tell them, yeah. Perhaps. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just, it's just at the time, like, um, with all the Gamba uh, stuff, the, the problem is always the misinformation. That's, what, that's, that's my problem. Because some things are wrong, but they're not like evil. And sometimes I feel like people know something is wrong mm -hmm. and it's easy to fill a buster and just stack garbage. How do I say this? Um, let's say um, it's like a method of delivery. When everybody's against somebody, right? Mm -hmm. They are less, they're not gonna be as critical of information coming in if it's, against, if it, if it's negative information, like stuff that's against it. So let's say, Oh, everybody hates this. Oh, yeah, and he also did that. Nobody's going to go back and check if that's true or not. They're just going to say, true. yeah, true. Right? True. And the problem is that with the Gamma stuff, lots of stuff was bad, mm -hmm. but people were stacking garbage in the bad, worse. making true. it look like it was complete. True. In, and then we were like, No one's what? fact checking. True. Yeah. And we were like, dude, why are you doing that? And then we go on, on, on the H3H3 podcast or whatever, and he's that doing even more show. garbage. And we're like, dude, you're not just wrong here, man. Like, like what? Like, what was he wrong about? Dude, you guys are uh, manipulating the winds before, during the stream. Like, and we're like, dude. You don't know that. Sorry, he doesn't know that, but you also don't know that. Okay, so. Which I think is, I mean, like, you so you can't a, really argue that one way or the other. This is a genuine misconception because there, there's two layers. I hate talking about this that much, but there is the host, the, 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 the website, mm -hmm. and there's a provider. These are two different entities. Provider makes games. They just literally make the game. And then the other company, right, just has the game and gives the game. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So saying, oh, dude, they're just 
manipulating the whole juice and and it's like dude someone said not on steak yeah yeah i mean it's it's all the companies uh a, a, a plain go pragmatic uh a whatever city there's a, there's like a bunch of them mm-hmm. people talk people talk about the live games one time more about the slot version of it the mm-hmm. slots all have a provider hacksaw gaming pragmatic gaming um I get what you're saying, and maybe that gives, like, your situation credit, but it doesn't discount the fact that there can very easily be scams on these games, and I'm sure that there are. Uh, no, no, no. Or, like, I mean, I mean, we know it's a scam. Percentage. Everybody knows it's a scam. In the back. Not a scam, but everybody knows it's rigged. It's like, Sorry. No, I mean, I think they can very much rig it, pot, like, be- benefit to benefit someone as well. Steak? I, I wouldn't, I don't much about I wouldn't that. be surprised. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I think that's, I don't think that, um, hosts can rig providers. May, yeah, maybe there are certain situ- like that. But if someone's telling me, well, on steak, they don't do it like that. Like, it's all one platform. I'd be like, well, I, I can't trust it. Because in the past, it's been proven that these kind of websites do rig shit. Yeah. So like, wh- yeah. Why would I trust I, it? I, I don't think they they see. It, I think it's fine to say that you don't think they do, but you can't prove that. Yeah, but I think them saying that they do 100 percent and most of your wins are uh, illegitimate. I think, I think this is very disingenuous. Yeah, that's so, reaching, and like, like they have no way to prove that. Like he was saying, like, oh, dude, you got like multiple 400k wins, right? That can't be mathematically. And we're like, dude. But like, overall, you've lost like millions. Yeah, so. like we we spin like fucking yeah. like. 8,000 times to get fucking 10x bonuses. Yeah. I get 1,000x, one, uh, 1, like, yeah, it, it, that, it, it's real. It's not, like, made... I don't know what the fuck you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. It's why it was upsetting that they were just stacking lies in the, in, in the middle of the, of the thing. What's your take on gambling now? Um, or yeah, streaming gambling, not gambling. It hasn't changed. I think gambling is content. I think it's fun. Is that it? I think gambling is fun. I don't. I don't. I, I, I'm. I'm okay. There's some, there's some topics that I'm okay being wrong about. That's what I've done. I think gambling is fun. I enjoy doing it, and I don't see that much of a problem. I just wish people were more responsible with their thing and were more in line with how things are. You're watching degenerate rich people, the deep print money, right? And you're telling it's being deep printed. Like, you don't have to go copy and do it. It's like saying that people are dying in skateboarding because of jackass. Like, I, yeah, I get it. It's a problem also, but like, I'm just trying to make some content, have some fun, and spin some fucking machines. Like, I, I'm, I'm not trying to fucking reinvent the wheel. I don't know. Do you think it's bad to take gambling sponsorships on Twitch? I don't, I don't think it's bad. I, just, I, I, I don't know. Um, what I'll say though is that I think it's bad to take the ones that most of them are taking. So Meaning? people will go against me for this, but. Um, tr- things like train, I know for a fact because I, I at the time I knew and I spoke with the guys over there. Um, the de- the deals aren't what you would think they are. It's not like affiliate code sh- uh, uh, shilling dog shit. Some of these guys, like I don't know if you'll see in the slot uh, uh, categories, you go down in the description mm-hmm. and they have an affiliate code mm-hmm. for like twelve casinos and every day they change website. They change website like four times a day sometimes, right? Weird. Because they have deals with all the companies and they just shill the codes. And the codes, they come from the viewers. The viewers fill the codes, mm-hmm. right? But mm-hmm. that's, that, I think that is weird. If, if, if your main juicer is the juice and the viewers, that's just disgusting. No, but that's my point. That's what gambling sponsors, sponsorships are. You're juicing your viewers. Okay. Because how else do they make money if not off of your viewers? Okay, no, no. That, okay. Off of your viewers' L's. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. It's kind of hard for me to rationalize it in a, in a, in a good thought. Mm-hmm. Okay? It does make sense, right? Mm-hmm. But if I'm going to gamble mm-hmm. and do that for the exact same amount, sometimes it's kind of like, okay, well, I'm doing it anyway. Like, whatever, I did, like, uh, I gambled for, like, four days, mm-hmm. and nobody had any problems with it, right? I gambled the fifth day, right, with a sponsor, and everybody got mad. I was going to gamble yes. regardless. Mm. How is that a mm? Okay. It's like a spectrum, in my opinion. And in my opinion, when you 
take millions of dollars in order to gamble on specific websites and platforms, you are on the end of the spectrum where you're teetering between bad and evil, in my opinion. You gambling for fun on multiple platforms, I'd put it in a gray area in the middle. Someone doing a poker tournament or um, gambling IRL, I put that like, you know, much further on the other side because there are way more barriers of entry. You're saving one for the death. Okay, great. Oh, okay. I'll save the last one for us. Sorry. No, no, no. There's that last one. So you can eat the oh, third yeah. one. Um. <laughs> okay. Because like, if you're like, hey guys, if you end your stream, you're like, I'm going to go gamble. Like, I'm not mad at you for saying that, even though... Earlier, when I went to the bathroom, I gambled in your bathroom. <laughs> I don't care, because, like, it's very different from streaming yourself on a platform that people can access very easily, hmm? versus, like, casinos, there's a reason that they're few and far in between. And it's hard to get there, you need your ID, you gamble with cash, like, there's okay. all these barriers that make it less likely for people so to lose money or become addicted. You're not, you're not wrong. But, wrong. sorry, sorry, wait. Can I just say one last thing? Yeah, I just mean, at the same time, mm -hmm. doing the gambling does that as well. But... It doesn't exacerbate that. But... Go ahead. Especially when you are taking money from a sponsorship, the only reason they're giving you that money... Like, what is their business model? Their business model is to profit off of your viewers. Okay, no, yeah, that so makes they sense. get that money and they give you some of that money. Okay. So you're just juicing your viewers. Okay, so yeah, you are right. This does make sense. I agree, I agree. Thanks. Let's say, Okay. let's say, not even a let's say, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. I buy 500k Power. worth of crypto, Sorry, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And I load up my account and I'm saying, I'm gonna, I'm gonna gamble for, two, for four days, uh -huh. right? Yep. So I gamble for four days, yep. and I lose 200k okay. over over four days. Okay. My two last days were sponsored, so they so they 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 paid me for gambling. I didn't yeah. I didn't even use the money. It's it was raw balance the whole time. Okay. They was wrong. Was one right? One wrong or both wrong or both right? I think was if you're gambling on your own time. That's your decision. I don't really give a fuck. If you're streaming yourself gambling, especially a lot of money you need to accept that you are having a negative impact on your yeah viewers. absolutely 100 yeah I, I, right okay yeah I can, and I can, then I can, the I can fact that that. Yeah. that company is giving you money on the fourth or fifth day is they're just telling you this is how much of a negative effect you're having on your viewers oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's this so, much millions so, so basically basically it is like an agree people the people that everybody just said they're both wrong and you know what you know what that means, right? Mm -hmm. It means that they just are against the fact, they're just against gambling and promoting gambling or just even just doing it without a sponsor. Mm -hmm. Which I think, which I think is... Streaming this, this, gambling is what... Yeah, exactly. Paid paid or unpaid. Because if you say that both are wrong, if they say both are wrong, then they're they just against the streaming of gambling. Which is fair. You can be against it. Oh. I'm personally not against it. I understand the, 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 right, the, the, right, the wrongs. It's just a matter of it. And I, I'm just going to do it. I enjoy doing it. It's, I'm, a, I'm a, like a gambler at heart, literally. I think it's f like, I think you can say that you enjoy some... Uh, okay. Being completely honest with you, I think the only reason you say that you're not against it is because one, you've done it, and two, you enjoy it. But you can have done something and think that it's fun and agree that it is a bad thing to it do. It is a bad thing. Yeah. But I feel like sometimes you say, no, it's not a bad thing. I'm not against it. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. It's a bad thing. I'm not against it. It's a bad thing. You're not, but you should be against it. Okay, wait. Wh how do you, what do you define okay. as being against something? Okay. I think also you shouldn't be drinking excessively and you shouldn't be you uh, shouldn't... taking sponsors for alcohol on stream. I think it's bad. I, think I so still too. do it. If you think it's bad, why do you do it? <laughs> because I want to. I actually think taking alcohol sponsorships is so far from casino stuff, actually, or gambling. I think drinking is a massive problem, if not as big as gambling, that destroys families across the nation. And it's a, it's a, it's a, 
an, an insane problem and destroys literally youth, I agree. growth, childhoods. And it's I a agree. big problem. But yet, one is okay and one, one is another. No. I think they're both bad and I still do both. I think they are both bad. One is more normalized and the other is just like, holy shit, why are we making something that's bad even more normalized? I think they're both shitty. But I'm very surprised that like, you're you're so willing to exclaim why it's so bad, but you'll still do it just fine. Like, what? why? Okay. That's that's um, kind of surprising no, I understand. to me. I understand. Like, understand if anything, you sound, you sound passionate. Like, alcohol ruins families. So does gambling. Okay. Yeah, but, but, but Pluto says they're not mutually exclusive. Yeah, I, I, I get it. The point is, is that I enjoy, I enjoy doing it. I think, I think your subjective experience doing it is... Because it's fun. Because it's fun. It's yes. fun and I can afford it. I can afford doing it. Just because it's fun doesn't mean it's... Like, okay. Would you have as much fun gambling if you were doing it off stream than on stream? Yeah. I, I'm a big, I'm, I gamble every day. I lost two million. Really? I lost 1.85 million a month. Guys, don't gamble. Okay, I think you can do something and say it's bad. Like, I think you should say that you're against it because you say that it's bad, even if you do it. You get what I mean? I mean, I know some people would probably call you a hypocrite for it, but I don't I don't really think so. No, I try not to be a hypocrite. I just, it's not that I understand it's, um, it's kind of hard. It's like a spectrum of bad. It's like taking a sponsor for a game you know is complete ass crack and you're saying it. This game is fantastic and will make you have good grades and have women, right? <laughs> it's it's not like, okay. That's bad, but you still do it though. It's the same narrative. Pause it's, champ. You know it's bad and you still do it. If someone buys Pirates in Space 3 because I told them that it was good and they end up having a shit time, that's not going to ruin their lives or their families. Gambling is different. Are they similar instances in a sense? Yes. Are they comparable directly? No. Apples to oranges, dude. Apples to oranges? I think... It's why I, th I don't think I'm a hypocrite about it. Though. Because inherently... Do you still uh, do gambling sponsorships? Nope. I just gamble off stream. I just, I, 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 I'm on a then down I don't, streak. I don't, <laughs> I don't think you're a hypocrite at all. Okay, but I, I still think that, 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 that sponsors are, are still kind of fine. It depends. It's I think it's give and take. I think it's give and take. Why uh, do you think they're kind of fine? Um, because at the end of the day, at a certain point, I think people can claim a certain amount, not all, mm -hmm. of responsibility for their own actions. And people can, uh, if you try your best to mitigate some of the influence and some of the negative one, I think people will still have a brain under in their heads. And they, when they go through the whole process of uh, buying crypto or buying whatever and putting it into a system that's extremely voluntary and has a bunch of uh, gates and steps behind it, and then that's very voluntary. And I don't think they're getting like mind controlled for it. I think I'm getting the good guidelines, like having a 18 plus thing. They go not to gamble. Some of these guys, they're like, dude, you you should if you want. I'm not kidding. So, so some of the couples I had with some of these uh, owners or whatever, they're like. Go on your stream and you should show them how much you're losing. When they say like, you can show deposits, show withdrawals, show how much money you're losing, and tell them not to gamble and not use the website, literally. But they know people are gonna do it regardless. They don't mind you doing that. It's like if a game told you that you can you can play their game and say the game is dog shit. That's why I don't I don't mind playing a game sponsor when they tell me that there's no talking points and say whatever I want. And sometimes I'll take sponsorships and I'll say this game is dog shit. I had a huge sponsor last time for for, for uh, Modern Warfare. I was playing the game. I said, "Yeah, this is this. Sometimes I'm dying, and uh, I'm dying. This game is ass crack." But they let me do it. To be completely I, honest, I'm trying to be genuine about it. I understand what you're saying, but I think all of those points are heavy justifications and copiums to make you feel better about what you're doing. Not just you, but people in general who do this. Fair enough. And it's. Like, the gambling companies tell you to do that to try to convince you that it's an okay thing to do. But to... 
this actually intent result like, intent result this ends up relating more to like how do you view human behavior in general your take is like at the end of the day it's that person's if responsibility if i wanted to study human behavior i would have stayed in school <laughs> but i'm explaining that your point your point is that oh people can't really be influenced it's their responsibility to make a decision and like yeah, sure, but you cannot deny the influence that occurs to people. Uh, if they hear something enough times, mm -hmm. if something looks cool enough, they're gonna do it no matter how shitty it is. And sure, it is their responsibility, like you shouldn't be sued by them for the money that they lose. Okay, maybe not to that extent, but it's still your fault that you caused that influence. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I mean, I, I can agree with you to uh, uh, some degree. Um, I, I still think that if you take the proper steps and proper guidelines, you you can kind of mitigate mitigate the problem and still have the content. I, I said it last time, I think gambling is content. I think it's fun. I think so too. It is content. I mean, that's why, like, I'm not mad about, like, rust gambling or even poker tournaments or thing like, other things like that. But when it comes to, like, taking gambling sponsorships, literally that is just your viewers' money. Yeah, but so I think people like... And they enjoy seeing money being deprinted. Sure, I I don't and disagree I, with I you. I think deep printing money is also fun. I'm surprised at like the heavy, heavy <laughs> copium in the chat, likely from people that are too young to even gamble. That are like, she's missing the point. I understand it's people's responsibility, but that doesn't detract the fact that I'm influencing their actions. Okay. Do you get what I'm saying? True, true. In that case, I wish people advocated harder and stronger mm -hmm. against smoking, vaping, um, drugs, talking about drugs, sure. um, alcohol, consuming yeah. alcohol, sponsors for them, the whole scope. I wish people that were as okay, adamant but about just all because... these drugs across the board, not be the nitpick Andy. I agree, actually. However, I will say that just because all of these things are bad doesn't mean we should allow more bad stuff. Not wrong. Not wrong. I'm just telling you that... Um, I do think if someone is like, smoke whatever every day and like drinking and doing all of this shit and then they're like, oh my god, but gambling? No. Yeah. yeah. Like, so, I understand how that can feel high road-ish. So I'm kind of wrong and I'll double down about being wrong, but I won't take getting high roaded by people who, yeah. who do dog shit. And that, that's not even what aboutism. It's not what aboutism. I'm not saying what about this, what about that. I'm saying you're not personally gonna high road me as somebody who does the other shit. I agree that it is wrong, and I'll double down on it. But you're you're not gonna act superior, uh, or some of the people are gonna act superior. You're not gonna do that. <laughs> Poke, says Poke your whole brand is you being fucking high. What are you talking about? I'd rather someone promotes weed than gambling, though. I'll be honest. I would much rather. <laughs> well, I, I one of my friends <laughs> smoked some smoked some uh, some 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 weed, some fake weed, and I was in the fucking asylum. Asylum? Oh no! Oh no! Thanks, Poke. <laughs> now he's now he's in the asylum. This is what Poke taught me. Nah, 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 I'm just doing some copium whataboutism. We shouldn't do, we shouldn't, we shouldn't do whataboutism, okay? I like, I, I wish you understood this is a behavior I do a lot, okay? But it doesn't justify it. Like, should I laugh at this joke? Should I make this joke? Should I, should I make fun of this guy? Should I insult this guy? I shouldn't. I still do it, right? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't, but I do. <laughs> it's like the inner monologue. <laughs> Sorry, go on. Okay. So that's kind of how I feel about these things. And I just wish that, that people understood sometimes it doesn't come across or does it, does it come from another narrative in my head? Some, some ulterior, other sort of mind pattern. That's where it comes from. 
And that is something I replicate a lot, right? Yeah, you, maybe you're going to convince yourself that I have another, another mindset or another thing, right? But the reality is, is, I, is I don't. I know it's bad. I still do it. I understand okay. the points behind it. Um, maybe I need to have a shift of perspective. Maybe I need to go out there, look around. I, I don't know. I think if you ever saw a family that was like detrimentally impacted by gambling, you would understand why it's the kind I of... I lost a family member to gambling. Oh, the whole family member? Yeah, like, I mean, yeah, the person is no longer with us. Really? Yeah, to gambling. Can you explain? Yeah, but I understand that. Um, cause, you know, but they, then they, why they, wouldn't you want to minimize the influence that it has within a society? And I feel like allowing it to be something that you can do hard online it's and I so like doing it and I want to do it and I can afford to do it. And so I try, try to tell people is that. Yes, but yeah, when I, you're I streaming can. it, you're encouraging this to people who cannot afford to do that. Yeah, that's and I, the issue. I think to an, ex to an extent. I'm not mad at you for doing it on your own time. Doing stuff on stream influences people overall. Yes. Right? Yes. And it's kind of hard to dodge yes. that. Yes. And that's going to happen. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I I think it's content. I think I think it's fun to do. I think it, I think it's generally fun to watch. Um, but I understand the problems about it. So I I don't know. Um, it's it's gonna it's kind of like a yeah. I I don't know actually. Uh, yeah, I have to have more talk to it. Okay, I I I, that. I I I I would think. Um, Spinning for hours, dead spins, getting absolutely nothing. Um, you know, I sometimes it's a good anti game gameplay ad, but I understand that people, gorillas, will still be influenced by the one win or the one fucking 1000x on, on fucking uh, Razor Shark or whatever. Like, yeah. oh my god, dude, seaweed, 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 ding, 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 ding. But it's like, dude, I spun for eight hours doing the only dead spins to get there, and they'll All only I... get that segment. When you say like we should talk about it more, at the end of the day, the proof is in the pudding, and the pudding is how much money these companies are willing to give streamers. Whatever they're giving streamers, they are making back so much more, and everything they make back is your viewers' losses. Okay. Like that, that's, that's the only actual piece of evidence we have regarding this. We're not running trials on like, how much are people being addicted? How much are doing this? You know, moderately. Yeah. We can't, like, you know, we just don't have enough data like that. Then that's I, the only point that you, we can actually guess, go off of. If I were to have this perspective right now, mm -hmm. then I can genuinely tell you um, um, with absolute certainty, and I feel bad about this I'll, I'll almost, um, that I've taken game sponsors that have, because I know the stats behind it, that have been actually worse than some of the Gamba shit. Just because I think games are no big I, deal. I, I, I played and got sponsors to play games that are absolute dog garbanzo, right? For insane amount of money. Yeah, I I really don't think that's a and big that deal. money that that money's my, people's money. No. N no 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 no. They're very different things because like, listen. Do I think it's good to promote something that you sh you hate? No. But is it as detrimental as promoting gambling? Not even close. Because again, if someone spends twenty dollars on a game and it ends up being shit, oh well, fuck. That's twenty dollars down the line. If someone ends up doing what you do and gambling and then loses their entire livelihoods, that's their life on the line. Okay. So, okay. Then, are you against the concept that, let's say, I took a Genshin Impact sponsor. Okay. Right? For like, it was like, great game. was it like two hours? And it was an absurd amount. Yeah, but And Genshin I spent every minute gambling in the, the menus uh -huh. with packs. Uh-huh. Right? Uh-huh. So technically... I'm, I, I'm trying not to do the what about is in here. I'm just trying to get a, a, a sort of a middle ground. But you, right? We're like, you're that is giving literally... examples of things that, you know, maybe have similar traits in some regard. But at the end of the day, they're just not as bad on the spectrum of things that can be bad. Okay. And I don't even think that is something that is bad enough to run around and be like, my guy's doing something terrible. Like, it's not about being perfect when it comes to any like moral or ethical issues but when something is very evidently bad like listen guys if you want to come at me and try to prove that Don't there are just as many 
that there are just as many people who lose their whole livelihoods to Genshin Impact as there are that do to like legitimate gambling. Like there are gambling, like people do lose a lot of money with mobile Gamba. <laughs> they really do. <laughs> yeah, should we get a tank and they get lose... killed in Inferno Tower? Like, yeah, people do lose a lot of money. Um, listen, and I'm not saying drugs or Genshin or all this. I'm so fucking mad at you for bringing all these things up because you have whataboutism into the whole topic. Guys, I'm not talking about all of those things. I'm talking about this one thing that is worse than all of those things. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a spectrum. I get yes. it. It's a spectrum. One, one has more upside, downside, like in terms of like, Oh, how much can you dump money? Can you wire your bank account and roll it in? If you did that in Genshin, it wouldn't be as bad because you probably hit a cap at one point yeah. where you, 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 you only stuck to a thousand instead of hundreds of thousands, right? Yeah. I get it. It's a spectrum. Mm -hmm. That's why I wish sometimes... Um, People I, discussed other things? Yeah. And I wish, I, I wish we could be... I wish we could be open to a point where the influence would be the same. The same impact as the actual Gamba Gamba. If you were... Open enough about it and say, yo, guys, this is going to be only dead spin, only loss, only garbage for hours on end. And it, we're just going to, and, and it had this, but it, it's not. So I, I, I get it. I get it. It's haram. Yeah, it's also very haram. <laughs> Every time I gamble, I, I, point. chat says, um, so someone said, oh, yes, yes. Oh, my God. Good. Very good context. Oh, Habibi X Gamba. Why is an alcohol and tobacco sponsorship different, though? I mean, if you say gambling sponsor streams encourages viewers to gamble, then alcohol and smoking sponsor streams encourage drinking. Would you disagree? I wouldn't disagree. That's really it. I wouldn't disagree. They, like, you can argue all day that they are bad, but they are just not as bad as making gambling um, accessible via computers and then in encouraging people to do it. Yeah, That's I'm, why, like, the, all this comparison shit, it's like, you guys really must have no good <laughs> points to defend it on if you're comparing it to a billion other things instead of talking about the actual issue at hand. Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> um, um, this is what, this is what I, I just feel like from my perspective, um, whenever I try to do it on my own, there was, as somebody was like 20 whatever years old, there's so many steps to get to the point where I actually gambled that I actually gave up because it's, it's so fucking annoying. And I feel like that's where like my personal like, oh man, look, man, if you want to do it, like you, you actually have to fucking go all the way and you have to, it's so many, it's, it's like. And there's a reason for those things. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just a lot of barriers. Like you have to, you have to put money here, do this, put, put, plug your bank account, uh, ver ver verify your identity, yeah. put it. Yeah. It's, it's like fucking, dude, like it's, it's a lot of steps. So I don't know. Uh, moving on, yeah, moving on. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I'm glad we talked about it a bit. And you know what? Maybe some things will change in the future. Oh, okay. Okay. Then I'm, we can okay. Talk now, about I'm, it now, now, now I'm mad at you and I, I need to go out of you on NFTs. NFT okay. or what? NFT or what? Yeah, NFT or what? You have the NFT to talk about Yeah, I was like, would you ever sell an NFT? I don't fucking know. Why would you? I wouldn't. I don't know. Not, Only, na not, not now. Exactly. Not in the way that it's done right now. Okay. Damn. Okay. Yes, you, you watch my stream, so you copy my take. <laughs> Can't got him if I th if I think the same thing as you. Actually, <laughs> my take yeah. weird. Okay. I've seen people like even sell their selfies as NFTs. No, so I think there comes a point where, as a creator, you can be uh, as greedy. Um, <laughs> yeah, you can be as greedy, but it's more like as in line with um uh, as me. I'm gonna sell something. How much do they get? How much do I know that they get? And how much do I gain from this, right? And I think um, as a creator, you have a responsibility to not juice this aspect as much as possible. Agreed. So if I make if I make merch, it's gonna be good quality. I'm gonna I'm gonna argue. I'm gonna I'm gonna negotiate with, with the people to make it as cheap as possible and get as little of a cut as possible. Because reality is, most of us don't need the money. From the from the, the the revenue of of the shirts and the, the merch, we don't need it. You know what I want? I want people to have a token. I want something to have something cool that they can wear, right? That they paid an amount that makes sense for them, and they get everything that they paid for and more, right? That that's what I want them to have. I agree and I respect that, but you don't want to juice people on merch, but you'll juice them on gambling. 
Okay, it, that, like I said, it's not something that is that is hand delivered. I give you this, you give me that type thing. Well, well, yeah, it makes more sense. I would rather someone makes a profit when they actually get a shirt in return than someone makes a profit and the person doesn't get anything. They just lose money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not trying to go back to Gamba. I'm just saying, I think your brain, good. Your train of thought, good. Okay. Generally. So, I'm an influencer and this shirt, okay, mm -hmm. it's garbage and it's going to dis disintegrate uh, when I get out the room. And everybody in chat actually <laughs> went there disintegrate. and bought it. They bought that right now. They're about to get scammed, get fucked on. Like, mm -hmm. it's not as hand delivered one to the other. I think when it comes down to merch, it's a, it comes from a much more, uh, much more authority and direct as you give me this, I give you this. If you say, oh, I give you 60 bucks for a, for a fucking, for a, for a shirt, right? And I give you, I know I'm giving you garbage and I'm giving you garbage. That's just, that's just lame though. I think so too. That is, a, that is very hand-to-hand -hand It's kind of a personal. scam in and of itself. Like almost anything kind of can be a scam depending on the details. Uh, yeah, so that's the problem that I have with NFTs and whatnot. Because you know it's garbanzo. Yes. You know it's garbage. I'm selling you, you three pixels, but yeah. it's me, so pay $100,000. Yeah. And you overplay its value and how much it's going to increase, how much I'm going to make yeah. money from it. And you know it's garbanzino. <sighs> okay, wait. And you sell them manually. This is kind of a shitty example, but an example nonetheless. So do you remember that website that was like gonna sell people's clips and whatever? Yeah. Yeah, so I don't agree with that and the way that they went about it, but an example of like, if it was normal to sell moments on the internet and people traded those and they like became valuable somehow, then I wouldn't mind selling like my Twitch clips if people could buy them and then sell them and profit off of that somehow, if that makes sense. Is that a, I don't know if that's a bad take. So would you do that? In my opinion, that the root thought behind that is, is an error. The reason why I think about that is that in my opinion, this is the, the you come you, you would have the same uh, idea come with this. than if you did a pump and dump, literally, because you're, you're what? a pump and dump is like, it's the exact same thought pattern as a pump and dump, what you're saying, is that you're creating something, you're putting it out that has a whatever value that is increased because you're promoting it and you're pumping it with your influence or whatever and you know for a fact it's worth garbanzo, but you're making the money out of it so it doesn't matter for you. No, I, I get what you're saying. My point is the only reason we would like do any NFT stuff is if it could bring value to someone, right? So or, I'm or, thinking or bring money to your pocket. Oh no, well, uh, no, 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 I mean like reason, like actually want to do oh, it. Oh, you're somebody who's like reasonable, like, yes, yes, like, yes, like yes. me and you. Yes, that's what I mean. <laughs> that's, no, that's what I said, we. Like, we're not interested in just doing NFTs right now, but, right, we would only want to do it if there was a way for it to bring value to someone. Now, I understand right now, you know, like, the only time you make money off of an NFT is essentially if you're scamming someone else. Okay, that's just how it is. Yeah, literally. But that's why I'm I'm imagining like in an ecosystem where people traded these things for whatever reason, like a collectible. I mean, that's kind of how it's, it's pitched right was now. But so healthy. The ecosystem isn't there yet. So if this was so big that it was all the creators in it, and it was a big jumbo bumbo, and I knew for a fact that they would be able to. Yeah. And if they sold it, it would small losses or small gains or yeah. and it was a thing mm -hmm. yeah i like would probably consider almost. it but the problem is is that like people know for it's cards. not that and they'll overplay the fact that it is to make as much money as possible that's where and the that's scene is Garbanzo. at right now i agree that's what nfts kind of are in the current moment but i hope i don't know do you want it to change can you see yourself being involved if it does change involved oh yeah, yeah like i always told this to chat some of my takes, I always say, I say, I don't like it yet. And I say yet, not, not to predict myself from taking an NFT to sponsor tomorrow or, mm -hmm. that, or, or in a year even. Is that yet in terms of technology, not in terms of usage. Mm -hmm. So if I agree with the technology, if the usage changes and it becomes good, then yeah, my take will change. The problem is that when that technology is good, right, the usage is absolute garbage i don't stand for it i don't want to promote it i don't want to make money out of it I, I i just won't stand Damn. for that and the fact that it flies every day to me is just bonkers yeah the amount of nft opportunities i get i'm like stop this shit 
By the way, I am not like pro NFT currently. We're just talking about it in general. Yeah, I just find hella NFT opportunities. Like right now, it's really just used to make money off of people. Especially, I can't believe people were genuinely involved in rug pulls. I think FaZe has done a billion. Like, Red I'm Bulls. really curious, has FaZe's reputation changed much? I feel like they've been involved with so many things. FaZe doesn't give a fuck, though. The problem is that is that they, now they have to give a fuck because now they're uh, investor field, right? Uh, oh, they have true. a lot of um, they have a lot of slices of investors coming in uh, via uh, fucking VCs, and then uh, that kind of shifts the mindset of, of orgs a lot of times, right? Don't, I'm sure they have a lot of VCs, don't they? Now, yeah, I apparently they undershot the amount of money that they said that they would make in the last year or something. Okay, so I think the way it works is that um, surprisingly, it's a good thing. What, you know, like Overwatch League and League of Legends or having a leagues or whatever, mm -hmm. nobody can afford to buy in spots. What they yeah. do is that they take um, venture capital from big investors that uh, inject money mm -hmm. for uh, for share, shares of the company. Yep. And what that does actually is that it cleans the companies up. I think it's we've been oh, seeing good change. True. It cleans everybody up. And they um, have to it's follow actually, certain guidelines if they're going to be associated yeah. with. And it's been helping the space companies. a lot, except for Phase. Somehow, some some from for some unholy reason. They have slices of, invest of investors, and they do absolute garbanzo. Who knows why? Um, I feel like it's because their audience is okay with anything. Is that weird for me to say? Uh, okay, I'm curious. For the viewers watching right now, do you guys now have a more negative perception of FaZe in general? Like, when you think of that brand, do you think good or bad? Okay, so I feel like you guys must be so far from, like, phase community fa like phase fanboys and sorry i don't mean a rag on them i'm, I'm kind of just speaking objectively about a company who has had a lot of hype for many years but honestly as of late has been involved with a lot of pretty shitty things yeah which is which is mostly based on the creators themselves not the org itself yeah, i wish the org took more too. responsibility yeah and took more, I, more of a stance but mm -hmm. all most of it is just uh i think it's comes down to the creators People, actually I kind of disagree. Okay, go ahead. Because if you watch the videos about these rug pulls and all this shit, almost always the creators that do it, they're given these opportunities through like oh, managers yeah, yeah, and yeah. Phase, I mean, they know, or they know. Phase banks or whatever. For sure, yeah. I In mean, which they, they, case, they, like, it's not just the creator going off and doing some random shit. Well, wish, like, Phase is usually involved somehow. So I wish, that's so why I was saying that, I wish they took accountability. Yeah. I wish the company came out and said. Instead, they're just like, "Oh my God, this guy did it. Oh, we're so sorry. We're gonna boot him off now." Yeah. So I, I guess because we're, they're not they're not seeing any downside or any punishment uh, from from people. Um, well, they didn't make as much as they projected that they would. So maybe this is the beginning. Who knows? Yeah. Pro our projections kind of garbage though. Like I don't know. Projections don't really... and evaluations are complete garbage in that realm. I saw someone post on Twitter about how uh, the SEC. Chat, what does that stand for again? I the mean, SEC is like investigating them for that or something or other. The SEC? SEC. Oh, yeah, SEC and... Um, Securities. Security and Exchange, yeah. Yes. This is in chat. I read it, but I kind of knew what it was, yeah. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, it comes, down, it comes down to fucking blockchain and crypto interest. It's, it's, the, it's the Wild West. Yeah. So don't trust people who take advantage of that shit. You know what's weird? Sometimes... It, okay, sometimes I see someone promote an NFT or crypto or whatever the fuck. Mm -hmm. And I feel bad for them because I think maybe they don't have enough IQ points to know that it's a bad thing. Oh. And then they're influencing other people who also don't have enough IQ points to do their own research. Yeah, if this, if this was me four, four like years ago, I would have probably taken one. <laughs> I don't know. See you. Thank you, Cristiano. <laughs> it just sucks because it's not, it's a lot of money. And for some of these guys that don't have, that don't have a lot and whatever, they but don't they know. They usually do. Like if you have enough of an influence to be paid millions of dollars, you probably True. have millions of dollars. Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> do you have waters? I do. I have a headache. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you no, want no, it's food? Okay. It's because I didn't well, get. Also, it's because I didn't eat food. It's five. So I mean, we've been streaming five hours. This is enough talking. Or did you want to stream until the poker event? Oh uh, no no um no no because I I want to go I want to go shopping. 
Then I'll get you water. We'll chill for like five, ten minutes. And then you guys yeah. have to be good to go. Wait, give me the cupcakes so I can give it to you then. Yeah. I'm trying to get like a, like a best outfit for the poker event so I can lose in style. Oh, let's go. Like a 10k outfit. No, I'm yeah, kidding. Yeah, do it. Okay. Oh, Guys, I'm going to look fucking bust in it. Chat, when I get there, dude. Guys, what? So, yeah, so I think we could lose in style today, boys. Yeah, so not, not to bring the topic again, chat, but um, today we're going to the Lubbock event. And we're, um, yeah, it's like a poker event. With, like some pros and Mr. Beast, Poggers. Who asked? Nobody. Yeah, it's streamed, I think. It's gonna be on YouTube, so it's gonna lag a little bit, but uh, just just put it down to 240 people to delay and you're chilling. <laughs> Did you get me banned? No, no. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Is no that problem. is that water from, is that tap? Nope. It's the best water you'll ever have. It's BTS water. It doesn't have any minerals. No, it doesn't have any bad tastes. Oh, you see? I have, see, this is my, my worst take of the podcast so far. Or the top, it doesn't. Um, I think what it tastes bad is good because at least it tastes something. So I'm a, I'm a Dazani enjoyer. What? Do you want to die? I said it. Dazani is good. You need to understand. You need to understand that's a terrible take. Why? What? It's copium. You've been eating something that's terrible that you've convinced yourself in order to cope with this terrible thing that the fact that it tastes bad is good for you. But at least it tastes something. It, feels, it tastes rocky. Like herby. Like Why it, do you want your water to taste like rock? Well, because it tastes something. Dasani, I kid you not, tastes spicy. It's weird. They put some weird stuff in Dasani. I actually, I'm pretty sure they put minerals in Dasani that make you more thirsty, so you keep drinking it. Did you know that? Oh, maybe. Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah, when I drink, I drink a lot of it. it yeah, because... <laughs> because what? they're they're scamming you, bro. They're scamming you. Dasani enjoys Giga Chad. No. Ew. This is good, clean, omega filter. It's BTS? BTS. Oh, I love BTS. Is that the group of music? Yeah. Oh, uh, Stan Luna. What? Sorry, Stan... Who? Luna? <laughs> There's no Luna in BTS. Oh, shit. Who is it then? <laughs> That's like a different game. Oh my lord. Um, uh, I'm trying to farm. Um, I know. Like, A for effort, though. I'm, I'm Say, like, Stan V. Stan V. With the little V? That's good, yeah. <laughs> good. And Jimin. Yes. Jimin. Jimin. Whew. See, now we're farming. He was, like, cringe, but I'm farming. You guys, you, you, guys, you, you guys will thank me later. We're going to clip all the other stuff out. This is all that happened. <laughs> okay, sorry. Yeah, you should go shopping. You have two hours. And yeah, you have two hours. Yeah. Place. yeah, I think I'm gonna go to like, uh, you know, I wanna get like a like a cool fancy jacket. Hell yeah. I've been watching uh, um, what's it called again? Um, Narcos Mexico on mm -hmm. Netflix. And so you wanna look like a, like a. Mob one of the cartel yeah. guys is like all these these cool shirts, flannel shirts, and they look mm -hmm. sick. I wanna get one of these. Get them. And you're wearing black pants, so I don't think you should, cause you don't have that much time. You should only get a jacket. Yeah. Top. Yeah. 
Do you want to go do that then? All right. Okay, but thanks uh, for coming by. Okay, okay yeah. wait. Tell them podcast future. What do you, What do you want? Yeah, I think I think next do? time we might go just me and her, or with a guest if I get get a good one. Oh, also, and I actually have topics that are like that we are in a good place to talk about, not yeah. stuff that we don't know about, like you know most of what you said today. Um, stuff that like you know like on uh, his on channel the, next time we're gonna alternate. Yeah, on like the more like end this scale of, of Twitch, talk about like stuff that we know about, you know, mm-hmm. so that we're like kind of experts about. Experts. Okay, and um, make something good out of it, <laughs> you know, in a more like mm-hmm. uh, like frontal way, so and we're make more a like set? looking at each other and a set. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, no, wait, it's always was a. Oh, nothing. The more like more like more like a like a table, Facing and then we're, yeah. we're in, we're in, a, in professional. <gasps> we should have a stylist for our podcast yeah they, so we look fucking cool when we do it okay we need to adjust to our to our guests though adjust but now who's to our coming? guest or just like same color ish kind of thing so we can like dress up when we do it and if we do like a podcast near halloween you know we could do like a cool halloween thing there's any possibilities which you have yeah. to be not lazy exactly so when you say not lazy we're gonna have, what do I do and what do you do? Do you want me to do the whole thing? Because I could probably do the whole thing. You know, it's all, it's almost already done, right? I'll talk to, you, I'll talk to you about it off stream. Yeah, it's been, it's been going, it's been a, been a thing. You didn't even tell me. What about ideas? I have so many ideas. Yeah, um, I'll tell you about it. Uh, I have the space also, for it. I didn't want to say anything, but when I came in here, it smelled kind of weird. Is there a reason why? Chat snitched, didn't they? No one said, what do you mean? Chat snitch, you read it in chat. Read what? He shat in your chat. He didn't shit in the chat. <laughs> Amber turd. No, it's not like that. Chat is snitching for no reason. No, no, that, okay, that's not being weird. I didn't slam it. Okay, stop. I'm done. Okay, this is fun. <laughs> guys, I, guys, I have to go for you guys. J'ai quelqu'un a dit, il a pété. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Was it on that chair or this chair? chair. It was that chair, right? Yeah. It's okay. That chair was on the way out anyways. <laughs> okay, chat. Thanks all for coming out. Thanks for yeah, um, thank thanks you. for uh, hearing us out. I hope uh, this was uh, somewhat fun or insightful. And then the next time we'll have chat like a blocks of topics or whatever. Yeah, it's going to be like, more like free flow or whatever. And everyone from chat, it's going to be very interactive. Mm-hmm. So chat has an impact and chat has uh, fun with it. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Watch out. I'm, I'm out. I'll, I'll, I'll leave you sign out with your people. Okay. You're gonna let me say bye to my people. Yeah, I always do that. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Thanks for having me. Bye. Let me just walk you guys out and then and then I'll say. Um, no, we just wait for you. Okay. Unless, no, you, you, what, what you Actually, no, you guys have to go go, so I'll just walk you guys out. Okay. Thanks. Choosing the, the style and uh, uh, it's like four more not stuff like that. Okay, then then do mock-ups with you then.
Thank you guys so much for watching. I can't believe a five hour stream. I thought, I really thought we would talk for like two hours. I mean, part of me was like, he's not even gonna show up. <laughs> and then all these other articles in big trouble. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it so much. Um, and I'm really, really excited for this. If you know me, you know that I've wanted a regular podcast on Twitch for so long. And I'm excited to hopefully make it a reality. Um, hopefully like two, maybe three times a month. We're not really sure about the cadence, but at least two times. And we'll alternate. I'm not going to sniff the chair. And we're going to alternate whose stream it's on, hopefully build out a cool set, all this stuff. And we really hope you guys will enjoy it. Um, I will still do podcasts with Miz whenever I see him. Well, not really podcasts, but like shoot the shit, do whatever, you know. So hopefully that'll all still be good as well. Again, thank you so much. If you haven't followed already, please do so you know the next time that I'm live. And oh, let me...